Located along the Tichim and Kintampo Highway, the Apaso DA Basic School, with a population of over 700 pupils, is being bedeviled with several challenges. Key amongst them is the lack of infrastructure forcing the school's kindergarten pupils to study under trees. Teachers of the school, through their collective efforts, managed to construct these benches without tables to save the poor children from sitting on the floor. This is the school's staff common room and each time it rains, the teachers with the help of the students would have to move the teaching materials to one of the classrooms for safekeeping. Though the teachers declined to speak to us on camera following a directive from the Kintampo South District Education Directorate, they disclosed to us that teaching and learning ceases each time it rains. Deborah Anochiwa is a resident and a concerned parent who live close to the school. She says the situation is affecting teaching and learning. Hey, you have said the school is not correct. Situation woman and yeah, just in so time. The school is in a terrible situation. With this large population, the pupils do not have a certain place, and each time it rains, they have to join their colleagues in the higher classrooms, and they are always congested. Some of the pupils share with us what they go through on a daily basis. Our brothers at the nursery level suffer a lot because when the rain starts, they move their chairs and board to the other classes, so we suffer a lot whenever it rains. Beyond the lack of classroom structures, the school is without adequate furniture, reading materials, and an ICT laboratory. Kobna Goffred says the situation is affecting academic activities in general. <laughs> We do not have chairs. All our chairs are broken. Our toilets has broken down too. And we do not have an ICT laboratory. So we are appealing to government to help build one for us and supply us with reading materials. These poor people here have a common plea. They want government and philanthropists to come to their aid by building classroom facilities for them. We are appealing to government to come to our aid by building classroom facilities and furniture for us. We are appealing to the president and government as a whole to come to the aid of the peoples here in Apaso DA by providing them with furniture and classroom facilities. So this has been the situation here in Apaso along the Techiman Kintampo Highway uh, and um, the situation according to uh, the peoples and some community members here is terrible. They are calling on philanthropists and those in authorities to come to their aid to save their bright future from a paso here in the Kintampo South District of the Bunnies region. My name is Anna Sabic reporting for joining us.